everyone welcome back to my channel this is Donnie and I think I may have a temporary um, setup figured out here in my living room I do finally have my camera overhead instead of around my neck so the view should be a little better I'm so sorry to those people that did not like that view but I'm just dealing with what I have here and it took me a bit to set this up but I think it looks pretty good um, so what I'm gonna unbox today is my September easy whim um, box that I my subscription box I'm trying to get through them as I'm trying to get through everything else and I do have another comment to make on that but I'm gonna save that for my live that I'm gonna be doing uh, later this afternoon which will probably have already been posted by the time this video goes up. Um, so, anyway, this is September's box. I know it is February right now, but I am finally able to do some video recordings here in the living room. And so I will more than likely be getting these done along with everything else that I've purchased so that I can show you what they are. All right, so this is one of their smaller boxes. I do reuse these boxes. They are super sturdy and very nice for storage. And they used to ship these with foam on the corners, but oh, I guess my camera's not that far over. They used to put foam on the corners here. And let me adjust this just a little bit so we can get the full view of my little lap table here. And okay, it still doesn't show at all, but I'll do the best I can. Anyway, okay, so, but they don't have the foam corners. Maybe they felt that they weren't needed anymore, but they do still wrap it in bubble wrap. Very rarely do I get a box that's damaged um, this one so far looks pretty good. I'll know more once I get this bubble wrap off. And, let's see. I mean, I get the 60, $65 a month box, and it comes with three diamond paintings plus all the other goodies. So, I'm just kind of perplexed when they come in a box this small because it should come with you know enough stuff to make it a bigger box but I guess if it's a smaller project that they threw in there for the the extra craft they don't need a bigger box okay but the box did get a bit damaged this corner did get squished in yeah this is really full and this the lid right here split and it is it is poofy so it's filled to the rim um, normally I get a paper that says hey this is your whatever month box it's normally right on top here it is so it'll tell me what's inside here but here's my three diamond paintings this one only has 13 colors interesting um, this one has 28 colors. My, I choose fairies and dragons because that's basically the only subject I really like from their store. Um, these are the drills, more drills, and more drills for the diamond paintings. And here's the toolkits. Uh, of course, they didn't give me that third toolkit. I got two toolkits, but uh, I'll make do. Yeah, their toolkits come with a pair of the black pointy tweezers, one of the MOSFA trays, a pen with a gripper, and some wax. So I do like to reuse those trays. Now let's see what we got in this one. Let's make sure it's September's box first. Yep, it says September's box. Um, okay, 
get your spooky on with these Halloween inspired treats while you slip into the night as ghouls and goblins, princesses and pirates trick or treat. So that must be these. Uh, yeah, looks like keychains. Unless it's this. Oh, it's this. Something fell. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, there's stickers. Diamond painting stickers. I don't know what I'd put them on, but, you know, I've got a lot of different stickers. Diamond painting stickers that I think are so adorable, but I just don't know what to put them on. And, let's see. So, this comes with a basic tray kit and here's the drills the basic brown purple yellow blue green and a little kind of reddish pink and orange and then the sticker sheet all right there we go so it's like, it's like, it looks like it's a vinyl sticker. Now you just take a vinyl piece, they cut out around the edge, and this is double-sided adhesive, so you stick your drills to it and then peel it off here, and then put it on whatever. It's just cake. It's sweets. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to have been Halloween-themed, but it doesn't really look Halloween-themed. It just looks like it's sweets themed. All right, so there's that. And then the next thing it says it comes with is uh, two bookmarks. That's this here. Now, I don't know about you, but I never really fancied using the tassel on my bookmarks. But I've done a couple. These seem to be wider. Yeah, this seems to be a little bit wider than the ones I've done. Um, they are flower themed, so that's not really my style whatsoever. So I will probably be tossing those in on my giveaway that I'm going to have. See, I'm centered on my table, but the way my camera is clamped, it's really hard to get me in the center. So there we go. Um, two bookmarks. They come with rhinestone drills. They're really pretty. That's the one thing I love about doing these kind of projects is the the rhinestone. And be oh man, that's a beautiful. I love that, but like I said, I'm just not into flowers and most of the books I read are audiobooks. So I will pass this on, but I want to show you the drills. There we go. Look at these special drills. Oh my gosh, aren't they pretty? Look at that. And I don't want to get them mixed up, but look at those. Really pretty. And then there's a single, well, no, it looks like there's two, oh, well, there's six of them. SQ05. So I guess they share the numbers on this 11 and 12 12 I'm not sure okay so this is 13 so it goes on this one because there's 13 this one doesn't have a 13 it goes up to 12 it looks like yeah so they do share the numbers because the 12 is so that's the 10 and that does fit onto there and yeah same shape 10 so yeah these do share the drill and look at all those pretty rhinestones look at them all. Got silver and blue we got a dark emerald green and then another green topaz a pink a silver and that pretty round red emerald color. All right. So I'm going to put these back and then we're going to pull out the next thing and check what that is. Uh, okay. So 
that first thing I mentioned wasn't the stickers, because I see that a little further down. Uh, spooky on, get your spooky on with these Halloween inspired treats while you slip into the night. I don't know what they're talking about, because it must be, it must be, because there's a bat. It must be the keychains, yeah. Um, and I'm supposed to get a peek, okay. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself there. All right. I know this is from September, but it's still fun to open up all the goodies. All right, let's put these back in the package for the, and of course, there's the, this one came with some baggies and the two tassels. And so this, yeah, I'll give this whole kit right here away with my, the giveaway. I'm going to, I'm going to post my giveaway in face on Facebook, in my Facebook group. So if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, now's a good time to do so. It is linked down below in all you, you in the blah, blah, in the description box. All you have to do is click on that link tree link, and that will give you all the links to the different pages that I have and some places you can save some money. All right, so these are the stickers. Let me get those back together. Um, so the next thing says. Um, LED powered dot lighting pen. Well, the thing is, you can get those in my shop. And I know the price is comparable because I ship from the United States here in Oregon. And this stuff comes from China. So if you are looking to get one of these light up pens, you, I'll link down below where you can get them from my shop. I have all different colors. And then I also have a separate link that I'll link down below that has a magnifier that you clip onto it. And see this, you have to take, this takes two AAA batteries. This does not have any batteries in it, but I do have one with batteries in it, but I can't reach it. It's a little far for me to reach right now. And I'm afraid I'll knock everything over, but I will link down below. I actually took a little video clip of me using it too, so you can see how awesome these are. So look for that down in the description box. All right, so this was the first thing right here that it's talking about my spooky on, to get my spooky on, on these keychains here. These also make good ornaments. I mean, because there's only so many keychains you can use, you know? Let's see. It comes with a little kit with baggies. <laughs> Not a thing of the word. And here is our diamond painting medium. And here's the clips that they come with use either for like I said keychains or ornaments I mean some people do little Halloween trees so we've got a bat and we've got a witch's hat and these are done on both sides made looks like they're made out of acrylic or resin it's more plasticky so I think it's more acrylic um, we've got a ghost and a cute pumpkin these are actually really cute 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 keychains and again, they come with these, oh wow, these are beautiful. Oh my gosh. And got come with googly eyes for, I think those go on the bat and possibly the, no, maybe not bat. Maybe I think they just go on here on the ghost. I don't know. There's an awful lot of eyes in there for just, uh, huh, 
yeah looks like oh because you put it on both sides of okay so four eyes they gave like eight of them or seven i can't find out where to open this somewhere there it is oops i just bumped the camera sorry about the earthquake guys all right let's look at these drills Okay, here's the special, yeah, number nine. Let's adjust this a little bit here. Okay, no more shakings. Number nine is the googly eyes. Uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they gave me eight, but only one of them calls for it, unless I'm missing one. I don't know. And then here's 12. These go on the witch's hat right in the middle. Um... And then we got these. Oh my gosh, so pretty. There's the silver rhinestones. And then we got a pink color, an orange, a topaz. And I love these half opals. Look at those things. And they've got an AB coating on them. They're so pretty. And then we got a black black rhinestone and a green and then we got some pearls the half pearls and then look at these ab coated gems those are beautiful look at that yeah th this is a really cute set of keychains i like them all right so we got one more thing it says uh Delight your loved ones with your peacock light ornament. So it's a light light up thing, which, you know, I've got a couple of them. I have a dolphin that sits next to Teslin's bed. And I think I have another one somewhere else I haven't done yet. So who knows? That might go into my giveaway as well. And just so any of you wondering, watching may wonder... I pay for these boxes myself. I don't get a discount. I don't get um, compensation from the company. This is something I do on my own. It's all my money paying for it. Nobody pays me to do this. I basically do this for you guys because I've rarely done any of the, the crafts that are in these boxes. I've done a few, but I just like to be able to show you guys what is out there what's available and what you're looking to possibly get if you were to order it because like i said i'm backed up to september and i'm in we're in february now so yeah i'm pretty far behind so here's the peacock light lamp you know i i've got a few peacock diamond paintings but you know peacocks aren't really my thing but this is a really pretty one um you uh string the lights inside i've done yeah that's what i had to do before and you pop them into the holes here let me just open this up and show you okay so they're all in here so this does have some really pretty rhinestones and special shapes it's got purple and green and topaz and pink and all that and it comes with the kit and it also comes with what's in this your little light bulbs okay so you got your lights down in here it's best to do the diamond painting first and then you put this thing together you line up the holes with the holes on here and then you stick the lights through the holes and then you pop the little light bulb cover over the light and you're good to go well of course you have to put your batteries in and those are not included so like i said this will probably be part of my next giveaway which i need to get started and that will be soon okay yeah all right so that's the goodies that came in this box now i'm going to show you the diamond paintings 
So I will be right back. I'm going to clean all this up and I will pull those out for you. All right, our first diamond painting, it looks like we've got a 30 by 40 and it looks like it's going to be a dragon. So like I always say, if I can find it on their website, I will link it for you right here on the screen. See what it looks like. Hopefully, there's no bubbles because this is the um, double-sided adhesive canvas. They shrink wrap them. They put a tube in the middle, and they tape them closed. So I get a lot of garbage when I order <laughs> these boxes just from the packaging. Ugh. All right. So if I'm able to find that picture, you're able to see this before I got to see it because I really can't tell what it looks like from the picture that's on the canvas here. So, kind of get a look at it together for the first time. Duck. Somebody is sleeping on my couch right now, so. You might hear a snore once in a while, but I will try to get that fixed. Oh. All right, so right off the bat, I am a little disappointed in this because whoever laid the cover over this diamond painting, they didn't get it all the way. You can see there. Either that or they cut it off because, nope. See, it's not sticky there. So I don't have any sticking adhesive to this section right here, which is really weird because that's just really odd for that to happen. But yeah, it looks like the they ripped off the adhesive a little too early. So I'll have to use my own little thing of glue. And oh, this is very wound really tight. You know, it might be the fact that I've had it packaged up for so long but oh my gosh it feels like this canvas is made differently canvas is a little thicker than normal than well previous months here is my inventory sheet oh that is a beautiful dragon there are 28 colors all letters and numbers for the symbols I love that they do have DMC codes and of course your instructions. And um, I'm gonna really try to get this un unrolled for you guys here. Hopefully it won't make a bubble on my canvas because uh, like I said, I'm working with limited space right here. So hopefully, I don't even, think that taking the cover off is going to flatten it completely like it normally would because this canvas is very very plasticky and it's stiff so I pulled off the little bit here and it is leaving bubbles in in the glue right through here as I straighten it that's unfortunate. I mean, those aren't the ma major ones, but when you get a lot of them, it can be quite daunting to work on, uh, to have to deal with it. So yeah, there's, it's, there's bubbles as I pull off. It's not a real big one. So, and I'm really trying to do you stash what diamond paintings I have I have to look at it and determine if it's honestly something I'm gonna ever do and how much how where it is on my priority list and I'm going to end up you know selling or giving away a lot of them and just so you know this is probably gonna be one of them because it's not you know not something that I would absolutely 
have to do. But I am getting it. It is getting flat, but this is battle. Because these are really, really stiff. I mean, this is... I've never had this much... I had to fight this much with a canvas to try and get it to flat. Oh my gosh. But like I said, this is only a 30 by 40, so it's pretty small. It won't take too long to do. Um, but let's we'll look at the drill field if I can ever get it flat. Okay. So. I'm going to get it flat, and then if I send it out to someone, I have to roll it up again. But this is upside down. I mean, it's kind of pixelated. There's not a lot you can really see with it because... It's so small. I mean, looks like there's a phoenix up here, and then we have a dragon towards the bottom, and it and it goes around some kind of building over there. But I'm sure you're not gonna be able to see the detail of that building at all because of the size. All right, so we'll look at the drills on this real quick, and then um, wow, I really made a mess of that. Well, I'm not going to pull the drills out and count them and do inventory and all that. Just because there's three diamond paintings in this kit, in addition to all the other things I showed you already. But like I said, I'll show you the drill field. Because I did forget. I'll just pull it up here. I did kind of show the drill field. But I find that they're really clear. Symbols. Easy to read. Sometimes the white symbols can be hard to tell what they are. I mean, is that a G or a 6? Okay, that's a 6 because you can see there's a G right in the middle. 6s are white and the G is black. So, if I give this to you in a giveaway, please be aware, <laughs> you know, of the, the little bit of flaws it has. But... It should still be pretty nice to do. Yeah. Alright, so it's uh, 3708. That's not that one. Not that one. It's this one. Yeah. So you can see, they've got their, they bag their drills in individual, well, at least this one. Yeah, all three of these have individually bagged drills. They're in most of the time they're in order. They have numbers on the bags. And there's the pretty colors for this diamond painting. And I've, I order just rounds. So that if I do want to do it, it's something I'm going to enjoy. I'm working on a square right now and I tell you, I am not so much enjoying it because it's got a lot of confetti and it's just not being my friend. All right, so there's that one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to set this aside and I will pull out the next one. Okay, so here is our second 30 by 40 and this one looks like it's some kind of fairy maybe. Hard to see, but if I can find it, like I said, I'll put it up on the screen right here. And let's unwrap it. Always fun. Oh, it looks like some part of the shrink wrap stuck to the canvas glue, and then. That other piece of tape. Okay, I'll have to cut that off. Alright, now we can look at what we got here. Okay, cut this part out. Or shift the camera. So, uh, 
I don't know if I will want to keep it or not just because like I said I'm really having to rethink on what I want to keep and what I want to actually do most of my diamond art club diamond paintings are what I'll be keeping oh my gosh this is so hard all right so this gives a little better picture it looks like an Elizabeth wall um and so this is something that will not be very come out very well in a 30 by 40 at all look at that i mean you probably already saw it but if i didn't get it on the screen look at the detail in that i mean there's a lot of detail down there there's no way it's going to show up in this on this canvas but I'll attempt to open it up here. But again, you know, no, this one actually, it just has a little excess sticky on the edge beyond the cover. But um, I can't tell yet if it covered the whole thing. So, But I'm sure there's going to be bubbles on there because of the stiff canvas. I don't like this um, change that they made with this canvas. Now, maybe it makes it, the color last longer. I don't know, but it's just not working too well. I mean, there's no bubbles, but there, 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 there's bubbles, but they're the little ones, but there's a lot, but look at that. That is going to be really hard to make out what it is when it's done. I mean, you've got to nice clear drill filled but it's confetti for sure and it's just impossible to get all that detail in this diamond painting in this size this definitely would need to be a 50 by 60 easy minimum And I know I've contacted Easy Whim when I wasn't happy about something, and they they guarantee 100% uh, satisfaction. So if you're not happy with something, they will replace it. But I I just don't know that I want to go through that, you know, bother. You know, maybe somebody will want this. I just I just can't see myself working on something that isn't going to come out. Um, clear with when there's that much detail in it I really would like to see the detail instead of you know working all that time on something just to get a bunch of color mixed in there see there's the rest of it and you can see all those little bubbles the stress bubbles from it being rolled up so tight I don't know if you can see it here yeah, there you go. You can see them all. Look at that. And, and and I really can't see what this image is. I mean, it just looks like nothing. Just it. I I really can't tell what the image is from the picture either. I I'll have to look online to see what I can find, so that I can actually see what the picture is so that I'll know what it was supposed to be. So there's my two 30 by 40s. And let me show you the drills on this one. All right, so there's the colors, lots of blues. So I'm guessing it has something to do with the water or the sky, one of the two things. So a little bit of earth colors, but mostly blues. There's more, more earth, earthy colors. I don't know why this is shaking. Oh, probably because I bumped the tape. I had to put the clamp on a table that's next to me <laughs> so that it wouldn't shake every time my lap table moved. All right, so I'll put this one away, and then we will get on to looking at the largest one. I'll be right back. All right, and lastly, we have my uh, 50, 40 by 50, and it looks like a pretty basic dragon. 
like maybe one of those New Year's dragons. It only has uh, 13 colors. And like I said, if I can find the pictures on their website, I will link it. Or I'll link it. I'll just post it right here for you. Uh, yeah, this, I've noted, this might be because of the fact that the canvas is so tight or something but see how the cover is pulling away from where the adhesive is supposed to be because normally when you when they cut the adhesive off after they've put it onto the canvas it it comes up to the exact point that the sticky comes and as you can see on this one the sticky is a little further up than the, the actual cover and it goes all the way down this one and I did notice that on the first one too. Um, but it actually missed the, the adhesive wasn't even there on the first one at the top part, but this one, it, it actually has it there. So we've got exposed adhesive, uh, canvas, uh, sticky. And it's not good to have that. Let's see get this off and then we'll show you what this see how clear it you know this is what doesn't make sense this image right here would have made a fine 30 by 40 because it's doesn't have a lot of detail but instead they put the images that had way more detail into the 35 30 by 40 size that's just I, I had sent them a long email about how disappointed I was and that was one of my complaints and they said something about how they would improve on that in the future and blah 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 so who knows this box only came out a couple months after I sent that that um, email so this is gonna be really hard especially because of how big it is I'm trying to I mean this is hard it's like very tough to unroll. Let's see if I can get the picture out. All right, so yeah, that's like, this is like something that would really make a good picture for a Chinese restaurant or a Chinese themed something. But I mean, that, that's a pretty good detailed picture for the inventory sheet. I mean, that's not bad. All right, but let's try and get this cover off. See, this is what it does when when it's tight like that, and you try and flatten it with the cover still on. It it, it stresses out the canvas or the, the adhesive, and it that is not does not get good results because it's going to end up putting bubbles in the adhesive layer when it can't just breathe and be like it should be without all this tension. So yeah, this is a really basic image. Bumped my camera again. So lots of lots and lots of color blocking. So if somebody wants um, to practice color blocking, this would be one that would be perfect for that. I would imagine this would take very little time for somebody who um, uh, uses multi placers. But yeah, here's the drill filled again. Like I said, lots of color blocking. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing this just for the fun of color blocking, but I'm sure I can find other diamond paintings that have color blocking that have better images, more interesting images for me, I should say. Yeah, see, now that I'm putting the cover back down and it's not rolled, it's relieved some of that stress and it actually, make, it actually comes all the way to the edge now instead of where it was pulled back because of it being rolled too tight for this canvas type. 
Oh, I'm sure it was since, like I said, September, October, November, December, January. That was five months ago. I'm sure somebody else has complained about it or mentioned it to the company since, you know, since this came out like this. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it for me to say anything to them. But this is just a struggle. And I don't know that if my next box is like this, I really don't know what I'm going to do because it's, it's not, this is not fun trying to get this uncurled. It's, oh, and I, I'm just, I'm showing you guys this just because this is, this is reality. Okay. This is not something I knew was going to happen. And you saw, I opened the box with you here and I'm dealing with it as I'm is as, as it's happening to me. It's real life. This is what would really happen to somebody opening this box and trying to uh, flatten their canvas. This is what they would be doing. Because for anybody who's been diamond painting for a while, they know that if you have a double-sided adhesive canvas that comes rolled up, you're going to want to flatten it. And this has been the number one way to flatten it is to take the cover off and lay it back down. I mean, it still works, but when it's curled this badly, you're going to have to do other things to get all the curl out. I mean, I can't even pull this back without it's still trying to curl while I'm doing it. So the struggle is real, you guys. <laughs> oh, okay, try it this way. So I can hold on to this side. And there we go. So that's the rest of the image. Um, you can see all that color blocking. Lots and lots and lots of color blocking. I mean, this whole area here is all one color. And then it has a little blending going on through here. And then a whole bunch of the same number two is all the same color right there. And then the dragon only consists of another 11 colors total. So very big uh, color blocking. I am very disappointed that this was not a 30 by 40. And that um, one or both of those others should have been at least 40 by 50 if not 50 by 60. Uh, I should not be sending it out in a smaller size. Something that, with all that detail in it. So, that is the third and final diamond painting for this box. I'll show you these drills, but as you can probably guess, it's mostly red. And there we go. So those are the two reds, numbers two and three these two colors here are those background colors and then the rest of this is the dragon so we've got a little brown and blues and orange well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me struggle um have you gotten a, anything from easy whim since you know september and let me know if you have do, are they this tight? Have, are they still rolling them this tight? Um, are they still this hard to unroll? I guess I should say. Because this this is not something I want to do every time I get a diamond painting from them. I don't. Because it doesn't look pretty for one. And I, I don't like deal, having to break those little bubbles. And which I would end up having to do. Because you don't you, you want your drills to lay flat. And in order to do that, you're going to have to, you know, use an X-Acto knife or something to cut all those little bubbles to lay them down before drilling so that your, so that your drills will actually lay perfectly flat. So, yeah, let me know down below what your thoughts are on this box. My last box, I know I was extremely happy with. Uh, this box, I think the only thing I'm going to keep out of it are the, uh, those keychains. Was there something else? Um, yeah, that, that's, I think that's it. Nothing else. Oh, the stickers. The stickers and the keychains. And 
the rest I will be giving away. So, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in my next one. And like I said, I'm still trying to get things in a good positioning so that I can still do videos while I'm having to keep my legs up. <sighs> Let me know your thoughts. Um, see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.